As you may already know, there are thousands of tires thrown out every year. But have you ever thought about how you can use those tires to possibly make money, save the planet, and make yourself a garden decoration all for free? Well, obviously no one would ever think about that. Everyone is probably too busy thinking about other more important stuff. Oh, stop it! You're ruining my intro! It's not like your intro is going to catch anyone's attention anyways. Does anyone even know where this squeaky voice came from? Anyways, back to the point. That's what I will show you today. How to make a flower pot out of an old car tire. Think flower pot in such a deep voice sounds weird. Oh my god! This is what they look like with actual flowers in them. Pretty nice. You don't have to use them as flower pots. My neighbors over there, as you can see, just have it around their mailbox. To make these tires, we'll just start off by making a little sketch of what the cuts will look like. The sketch you just made will be how your flower pot ends up looking. If you use triangles like I did, then the edges on your flower pot will end up being like this sort of spiky but if you use half circles for example then your flower pot will have half circles instead of spikes just on the bottom they will be sort of inside out half circles if that makes sense now we will move on to actually cutting our sketch out to do that i will be using a jigsaw with the blade for cutting wood on it. I've seen people use a knife before, but I find that it just takes too long to use a knife. But the advantage to it is that you can get some really precise looking cuts out of it. Be sure to wear safety glasses and safety gloves, because cutting a tire is the same as cutting a wood or metal. There are lots of sparks and just pieces that go flying. If you're afraid that the tire might pop when you cut it for the first time, well, it won't, trust me. The tire just sort of lets out a hiss and then a bunch of air comes out. But that doesn't happen like really fast or anything. It won't hurt, trust me. Once you have that done, you have to make sure that all of these flaps are not attached. Just go around and make sure that they aren't attached. And if they are attached, like over there, then you just have to cut it. At this point, if you are using a tire without a rim, this part here is the rim, then the inner part of the spikes would just fall on the floor. Once that falls on the floor, then you just have to flip the tire inside out, which I'll show you in a moment. At this point, I wanted to show something to you guys. If you go too deep into the side of the tire, then you hit these metal spikes. They hold the tire together, but they are extremely sharp. So if you're going to be selling them, just cover them up with tape or something. As you can see, we finally managed to flip our tire inside out. We used a tire changer to do so, but it is well worth it. This is how our tire ended up looking.
remember to like, share, and subscribe.